watching the Leafs this season having a bad year. But they feel they have it going now. Let's see how this power play works out. Benning shot. No! The Leafs slapping it in. Dow's shot was deflected wide of the net. Leafs in for checking again and throwing the weight around inside the Blues line. I am afraid he is on there with Bill Kitchen, the other defenseman. Oh! He dropped it in deeply to Anderson in front of the net. It was tipped away by Gilmore in time. And the Blues will clear it down the ice. Ford slapped it inside the St. Louis blue line. 6.55 to play in the period. It's one and nothing. Drew Baker over there. Roughing it up in the corner with Ramage. They go at it again. Drew Baker now might be getting a penalty. As Nyland plays the puck. And now they grabbed each other down there. Drew Baker and Ramage. And it going for a while. Baker is tough. What? Hockey night in Canada returns in a moment. In with Lehman. Lehman couldn't handle the pass. Free throws in. And a great save by Liu. And Dao. Dao stopping. Rolled it back for Anderson on the boards with it. Another pass to score. You won't Leo believe that one. Hand on it. Watch Nyland now in the corner when he picks it up on his backhand. He'll just dump it in front of the net. I don't know what Leute was thinking about. Dao chucked it in. Then took a check for Bothwell. There's Bothwell. Lost it to Dao. Five score. And we're going to have a scrap. Now there's going to be a third man in, that's for sure by the St. Louis Blues that can't get the, the number. Ramage and Korn, the combatants. Somebody jumped on top of Korn. I don't know if that's Sutter. And you really have to do that. If one of your team mates is in trouble, the closest guy has to come in and make sure that he doesn't get hurt in a fight. And the St. Louis Blue player, I believe it, uh, it is Sutter, number 11. He came to Ramage's aid. Pointed out to us, maybe Jim Corn's first shift of the hockey game. Second shift. Well, Sutter, in fact, has been given a game as conduct. Third man in. There is Sutter. Two minutes roughing, five minutes fighting. Brian Sutter, a game misconduct. For Toronto, Jim Corn, two minutes interference, five minutes fighting. Time 9.49. Let's see if we can pick it up. Jim Korn will get the first penalty right along the boards. Now you see the referee has his hand up. Now the play will go down. Now we'll keep an eye on Korn and Ramage will come together. It'll start right there, and Korn really has Ramage in a vulnerable position. You see Sutter, he has to protect his teammate and come to his aid. And you can never be criticized for that. Good play by, by Sutter or Ramage. <laughs> he might be spending the night in the hospital, so. On the other side, the Lord had a stick left it by Anderson. The Leafs get a break again. Five, who has one goal tonight, is in. Five, right in. They score. Anderson coming out to center ice with Ramage. Ramage lifts one in the general direction of the net. It was knocked down. Mullen nearly got a break on it. He saw Iafredi trying to pass the puck out of his own end. Hit Benning right on the ankle, so he's being attended to. Getting the puck out, like this time to Anderson. He has the legs to move in. Anderson got a weak shot in on Liut. And the Leafs stopped him. Leafs are into the muscle again, back to the net. Puck at the blue line. The Blues will bring it out this time. Bernie Federko coming up. Comes in, dropped it back. Mullen coming in, right in. Score! So with 9.30 to play, lead is back to three. 
Cartnell for Strong. Terriana's in front. So is Cartnell. Pitch and shot. And stopped by Leute. Terrion ragged it on the boards. Stepped away from a check. And another. And another. Terrion. What a goal. Oh, what? What a time. Terrion. Oh, boy. Bob, it's so important after you get a goal scored against us, you have a strong ship coming back. One guy. All right, let's take the puck. Two guys. Three guys. And then the setup. Folks, that's not the way to play defensive hockey. If you try to stick check, any player can make you look silly. And Terrion does it all and sets up strong for a goal. But what a great individual play by Greg Terrion. Rubecker is on the ice. He might get a break. He does get a break. Couldn't get the goal, though. They stopped it. Great burst of speed, though, by Brubaker. Having fun, that's what he's having. Cornell ahead to Corn. Corn coming up on the play is five. Corn rolled it through the crease. He scored! In attack! And it's six to one, Maple Leafs, with a minute and a half to play. Leafs, Barge in there again. Salming broke it up outside the blue line, and a strap has started at center. Curry Anderson of St. Louis. The referee, Brian Lewis, is standing back there making notes, and he's, there's not much else he can do. But you're always uh, afraid of getting your, your wrist cut with a skate, you know, when you're in the Lee situation. Ute has left the net and has gone over to grab Jim Korn. Well, we've got everybody into it. Everybody. Reggett and Walmsley. They're okay having a check. They're not going to cause any problems. Stickle has ushered Perry Anderson of St. Louis off the ice surface to the St. Louis dressing room. Brubaker, as you see there, and Schofield are being separated, but a corn over there is still locked with Ramage. Well, that happened earlier in the game, in the second period, I believe, when Korn and Ramage went at it. Well, Ramage really didn't do anything. It was Korn that did the punching, and Sutter came in to, to help out Ramage. So they've carried on. And at this point, we can't say who was the first to leave the bench. I know who it was. Do you? It was Brubaker. It was close. I'm not sure. There were an awful lot of people. I think he had a stride. Well, he had a stride. I saw Demers standing on top of the, the boards. Well, they're having heated words, that is for sure. They don't want to quit this thing. Reminiscent of the last game of the Quebec Montreal series last year in the playoffs. Toward the end of a period, that was. This is toward the end of the game. <laughs> to all intents and purposes, it is over as far as the result is concerned. Well, the Leafs leading by five goals. I tell you, Miguel is going to take his shirt off. Now, they're going to square off. I think that's Levy, isn't it? Go until they hit the ice. They can never have 
this is now becoming the main event. The officials are trying to hustle away from everybody else to get back there now. And they can't do it. They're going to go to round two. I think, they? I think they're tuckered out. They're They've tired. had enough. And this might have solved the problem right there. Two players square off and go at it. Look at this Leaf team coming over. I tell you, you wouldn't know, but the, up, the Stanley Cup has just been won. If the Leaf fans wanted spirit, boy, they've got that, if nothing else. And they're getting a standing ovation. Now, we're going to get letters saying, what are they doing promoting this kind of stuff? But, folks, you can't, you can't stop it in a game like this. When, when the spirit is there, you either have it or you don't. And you got to say that they seem to have it tonight. Well, that showed the togetherness when it was all over. They all got together patting each other. And because the, the Leafs all year, they've been searching for something to get them going. And we're not suggesting that it takes a brawl to do that. Good play. 